The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. The Carson Newman volleyball schedule has been released and the Eagles are getting ready for the 2021 season with coach Ashley Tiernan. I'm Michael Watchering for the Eagles Sports Network. Ash- Ashley, thanks for taking some time. First and foremost, uh, you won the region championship and it felt like there was a lot of momentum gaining towards the 2020 season. Everybody's had to impact everything. What has it been like with you, the team, trying to make sure that everybody gets on the same page, knowing that February 27th right now is game number one of the season, and that's significantly later than it normally would be? Yes, it was um, for quite a while. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if we were going to even have a season, uh, when we were going to start, or what to do. And so our our motto basically throughout – um, I guess what was considered our off season, uh, was just, we're taking it day by day and we're going to act and pretend like everything is great and peachy and we're having a season and nothing is weird and out of the ordinary. And so we competed at a high level during practice. We, you know, had the mindset that we were, um, getting stronger and better every single day to make sure we were ready for competition because that's, you know, where we want to be and what, what we want to make sure happens. Um, and we also made sure that it didn't, um, allow us to kind of slack off or, you know, think in the back of our minds, well, what if, you know, we don't have a season, then what am I doing all this work for? Um, we made sure that that wasn't a part of our program from the beginning. And so we took it day by day, um, with the intention of working as hard as we would have, if we were in season during the fall. Um, and I think that really got us ready to mentally and physically uh, compete throughout, um, you know, these Christmas holidays when we're not on campus um, and, you know, getting ready for coming back in January and just going after it. I've talked with, with pretty much every coach about how strange everything is. So basically what we have is a, is a framework for what the schedule will be. It's 10 matches as it stands right now. First three at home, five straight on the road than two at home to end the year as it stands right now. How does that impact how you prepare for the year, knowing that you have that five straight? And not only is it five straight on the road, it's basically over an entire month because you have a 10-day off period in there. Yes, we do. Um, you know, you, you think about that stuff and you you schedule around it and you want to make sure you do what's best for your student athletes. And so um, it's the schedule that it is what it is. There's nothing that we can do about it. And so we're going to tackle it with the best intentions possible. Um, you know, it, it affects us, but it really doesn't because we only have 10 matches. And so we're used to 26 dates of play, um, meaning, you know, you could have multiple matches in a day. And so only being able to play 10 matches is going to feel kind of strange um, from the get go. But uh, it doesn't really affect, um, you know, anything that we are doing different or traveling or anything like that, because it's not going to feel like it's back to back. Because like you said, there is a span of a 10 day off period um, in the middle of that month. So, so we're not, we're not worried about it. It's not something that we, you know, are are fretting over or sitting back going, Oh my gosh, we're on the road the entire month. Yeah, we are, but it's not, it's not going to affect us too much. It's a non-traditional year in terms of how everything is playing out. Uh, Senior class, one of the great things that that your senior class gets at the end of the day is you finished your season. You won a region championship. Some other sports in the spring didn't get that, that benefit, but you, not only do they get the opportunity to play this spring, and although it is a 10-match season, they get that added year of, uh, of bonus eligibility. How nice is that for you as a coach to, to, to give them that offer so that they can make that choice if they want to call it a career in April or if they want to come back and play that bonus season? Yeah, it was, um, you know, for quite a while there, we weren't sure what the NCLA was going to do or even if they were going to allow another year uh, for our athletes. And so we had the conversation early on that, you know, just be prepared that this could be it. You could have a season, you could not have a season. Um, Coming off of that region title and heading over to the NCAA tournament was huge for us because a lot of our returners were seniors this year. And so having, you know, that conversation when we found out that they were going to have another year, um, of course, you have to look at all the things like your progress towards degree. Are you going to go to grad school? Do we have the program, you know, that you're looking for? We don't want them to just, you know, take classes that they're not going to use in their life. Um, And so those kinds of situations kind of came into play. But we had I had that conversation with our whole team, not just our seniors. Um, And it's really it's really nice. You know, we we have the ability and the option to keep a few of them. 
um, that are seniors and even beyond the senior class, I may be able to keep a few of them from there as well. And so it's, it's an ongoing conversation. Um, obviously there's some stipulations that go along with it. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that if my athletes choose to stay another year, that it's a benefit for them career wise and education wise. And they're not just staying just to play another year. When you look at how the season plays out, 10 matches, uh, there's a bit of a conference tournament in there, but no national tournament outside of having a successful year in terms of wins and losses. What's the goal for this year's team? You know, these girls are chomping at the bit to play. They want to compete. They want to play. It's been a part of their life for numerous years, you know, 15 years here and there. Um, you know, it was weird for them to have a fall without a volleyball. It was weird for us as coaches to have, you know, an August through December, no season, um, year. So, you know, it's all strange and it's all weird. Um, and we, we just want to compete. We want to get out there. We want to, you know, our, our freshmen have an awesome, awesome opportunity to have a whole year of training, um, before they actually, you know, compete in a real, in a real season, it will be a real season, but it won't be, um, a normal season, I guess is what I should say. Um, so, you know, getting getting some of these freshmen some court time um, in the spring, knowing that, you know, a conference tournament championship is awesome. And that's definitely what we're going to set our goals for and, and go after. But I also I want everybody to be able to compete and really get a, an opportunity to step on the court and and get that, you know, those reps in and get that time in and really see what this game looks like at this level. Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck in 2021. Thank Looking you. forward to the season. Us too, for sure. She's Coach Ashley Tiernan. Carson Newman set to start the season February 21st at home against Catawba. Stay tuned to the Eagle Sports Network for more updates on the volleyball program and much more. I'm Michael Watring signing off.